Hi, I'm Matthew Kaufman. And I'm Alex Scott. We're 12th graders at Marjorie Stillman Douglas High School. And today we're kind of going to be talking about um, the shows that we've been watching lately and other students around this high school. Recently, I've been watching a lot of The Walking Dead. I grew up watching it, so my mom introduced it to me, and I started watching it with her when, you know, episodes were still coming out. So I was a little bit, I was younger, so I I didn't kind of... You didn't really understand it as much? Yeah, like I had a harder time picking it up. But now we're watching it, I'm remembering a lot, and I'm getting a much better understanding of the show and what it's about. And I really like it. So um, you kind of get those moments where you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, because I kind of understand character connections now and what certain episodes and scenes are about. Because I remember, I remember most of the characters, I just don't remember, you know, what their point of the, like, what their point was in the show and kind of like what they're contributing. And now I, I really get that. Um, I think I like the show so much not even just for the nostalgia i think it's just a generally a good show it has a lot to watch there's you know i there's always another episode for me even with its 11 seasons um i still think that the episodes are pretty good it's kind of a they have a formula for the show and i think that's a problem for a lot of students it's not a problem for me because i kind of like how there's a formula Mm. but a lot of other students who i've spoken to think the show is a little bit repetitive and you know i i get that I, under, I see where they're coming from. Um, I know you've been watching Alex. What do you what do you think about that show? Yeah, um, I actually started watching it at the beginning of summer because I saw um, I watched the first episode and I saw that it was eleven seasons long, and I'm like, wow, that is really a lot of seasons, and that probably, like you said, scares a lot of students. But um, I was like, I can do it. It's summer. I can get through it. So. I think when the school year started, and I'm still in this season now, I got to season 10. I only have one more season left, but I really like it so far. I think it's a great show. Cinematography is great. The characters are perfectly built, and they just have the perfect like bonds with each other. It's it's a very good show. What, what are you watching right now, Alex? What's your favorite show at the moment? Um, My favorite show at the moment is Big Brother. It's a kind of reality TV show for some people who don't really know. They put... Um, I think it's 17 or 18 house guests in a house every um, summer and they watch them compete week by week and every um, week somebody gets voted out until there's one person standing and that person is the winner and they win like $700,000 which is a lot of money and I would probably go on the show too when I'm older. Um, I, you know, I've heard a lot about Big Brother. I, I have I have some friends who watch it. Even my, my um, history teacher, he had a whole lecture for, you know, around 20 minutes in class about last night's episode. So I kind of I kind of see the hype because he was talking about people getting voted off and these like these characters, like secret relationships with each other and how it's kind of like going to come together at the end. And, you know, yeah, a lot of teachers will be watching like reality TV shows like that. Like, that's what I've noticed. And they'll like kind of be watching like your shows that you watch, too. So maybe some people don't know that like, oh, like there's no way my teachers are watching this show that but they probably are. So talk to them about your favorite shows. Maybe they're watching them, too. Yeah, I feel like that show kind of it, it appeals to um, older people as well as younger people, because it, again, it's it's not on Netflix or anything. It's a reality TV show. You know, kids our age aren't really watching live TV, but um, I guess the ones who are watching this are, and I think I definitely will be checking it out maybe when the next season starts because yeah. it works in a seasonal thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like Each season has a different amount of house guests. So right now we're on season 25, and you don't have to watch 1 through 25 to know what's going on. You can really start on 25, and by the end of the season, you'll have a full idea of what the show's about. Like, there's no characters in the show it's a reality tv show so there's new house guests every year um and that's what i like about it like you can get caught up you don't have to watch all 25 seasons you just have to watch one to know what big brother's about um so we went around our school and asked a bunch of students what their favorite tv shows are by far the the most popular show um among students is breaking bad i've heard that a lot too so i actually watch all of breaking bad and i happen to really really enjoy that show i i enjoyed everything about it um i think it starts off a little slow but every season it gets better and better and better there is like there was like i could not put this show down i constantly wanted to watch it and when it ended i was really upset i was like gosh like (laughs) 
I need another episode. That yeah. wasn't enough. Like, I want to know what happens next. And what was perfect is they made an, uh, a Netflix um, movie about one of the characters and how he his life was after the ending of the show. So I thought that was, yeah, it's called El Camino. I thought that was um, really good closure for me. So that's good for like the hardcore fans that really like the show that they can watch that. Too. Yeah, yeah. It, it gave you what you wanted. And I was satisfied with it. They also have um, a spinoff show called Better Call Saul, which is another, it's in the Breaking Bad universe about another character. It's kind of a prequel to the show. I haven't um, really watched much of it. I've seen a couple of episodes. I kind of like, I liked what I saw. I didn't have the time to really get into it, but I might. And I think other students really enjoy it. Um, yeah. And another thing that I've heard from a lot of students at my school in general is Stranger Things. I know this show has been going on for probably since... 2017 it's been a lot of years but um the show's still hitting the charts like every new season it's up there everybody's watching it everybody on tiktok's talking about it it's still such a big thing and they're coming out with their last season in the next two years season five and i, I, I just really hope they end it well um i've watched the show since the start i don't know about you matthew i've actually seen the show um fully two times I, i'm a big fan yeah same um yeah i just love the characters i love how they just they're all teenagers and they met over this well some of them didn't meet they knew each other before but i i just love the plot each season has its own different vibe and that's what i really like about the show so i'm excited to see what season five has um and what the vibe is i want to know i think my favorite part about the show is kind of the mystery after each episode like you you'll watch an episode you'll sit there and try to like puzzle everything together before the new one comes out because it really is just like it's just a big mystery and you're just kind of trying to solve it um i think that's the best part about that show for me and i think it's common with a lot of other people yeah so um it was nice having you here matthew it was nice talking to you about these shows and yeah i really like tv shows and how it can you know create bonds between people and Talk about your favorite character. I think that's a really good part uh, about TV shows. Um, you could talk to friends, talk to the teachers, and it, it'll help further develop, you know, friendships, relationships, because all it takes is having a common TV show with someone, and there you go. Thanks for listening. Thank you.